Welcome to my bindings how to videos. Today's topic, how to wire bind. All machines and systems are a little bit different, but we'll do a demonstration here on this Achilles Wire Mac 421. Find a book with two to one pitch twin loop wire. The two to one just refers to two holes punched for every inch. Every wire binding machine will have a punch where you punch holes into your project. With a wire Mac, it's here at the top. You slide your papers into the throat of the punch and then you adjust the side margin control knob. Side margin control is simply a way of locking down a setting so that all papers are punched in the same place throughout your entire project. Some machines have adjustable dies, which allow you to remove a certain pin or a punch so that you can use different size papers and have total control over what gets punched and where, making sure there's no half punches. Some machines have manual punches where you pull down a lever. Some are electronic punches where you push a button. If you like your first punch, continue punching through the rest of your project with the same setting. And depending upon the thickness of your project, you may want to change the depth of margin with the depth margin control knob if your machine has one. Bigger margin allows for more strength. When you've punched through everything, assemble your project, it's time to bind. In wire binding, there's a little trick that makes your finished product look even better. Take the back page and flip it around to face the front page. That way in the end, the seam where the bind comes together will be hidden between the cover and the back pages. Most wire binding systems will have some sort of built-in measuring tools to help you choose the right size wire for your thickness of project. Almost all systems will have a built-in fence that you can drape your wire spine over in order to hold it as you thread your project onto it. As you can see, this can be a little tricky. It does take some getting used to, but you'll get the hang of it. When ready, remove your project and its spine from the fence. It's time to close. When it comes to the closer, be sure to set it according to the size wire spine you'll be using. Underclosed or overclosed wires do not work or look very nice. You place your book and its spine with the C shape of the spine facing down into the closer and you clamp it closed. And there it is, you're all set. And that's the fundamentals of how to wire bind. For more articles, how-tos, demos, and reviews of all things binding, check out mybinding.com.